to the channel I'm Brad Lone Wolf and today's video is going to be on um, quick drying materials now I've said a number of times that cotton and jeans are not the best things to wear particularly when it's wet and cold and this video is basically um, going to show you why uh, particularly why it's um, use why they're useless in the uh, in the wet now as you can see I'm obviously sat in my garden um, I'm going to show you what materials and what uh, what clothing I'm going to use to demonstrate this um, demonstrate on this video uh, in a second. Uh, I've got a bucket of water beside me, um, and I'm actually sat at the moment on uh, on my cold frame. Um, just to let you know, when I do set everything up um, and I start showing you the drying the drying video, um, I will be filming it on my uh, action camera. Um, mainly because, uh, as most of you know, I do most of my filming on my phone and I kind of need my phone for other purposes and these will take a while to dry out even though, even though a few of them are quick drying material. Right, um, give me a second, I will bring everything across and I'll show you what uh, the I'll show you what the experiment is going to use. Okay, so the clothing that I'm going to use is going to be a um, quick dry synthetic t-shirt. Um, this one happens to be from the Thames Path Challenge I did a few years ago. Um, but that's going to be the synthetic um, t-shirt that I'm going to use. Um, to hopefully show you why um, why there it's a better material. Um, I also have a cotton t-shirt, um, white cotton t-shirt that um, well it's used by now. Um, so nothing. It's just a plain white t-shirt. Nothing not more to be said about that. I also have a pair of um, my old Peter Storm trousers. Now these are the ones that um, you might see some bite marks there and that's, uh, that's why my lovely pet rats have decided that uh, they liked these trousers more than me which isn't the point the point is I'll be able to um, show you why quick drying trousers or why poly cotton trousers are better than jeans speaking of jeans last but not least a pair of jeans now these aren't mine I went to a charity shop and I bought these specifically for this experiment and the next experiment that I'm going to do with them. Um, yeah, I've never worn these. These probably my probably my leg would fit in them, and about uh, and that's it. But the point is, is um, uh, I'm demonstrating why jeans are a bad idea to wear in the outdoors. With that being said, I have a bucket of water down there. Um, I've got my cold frame that I'm going to pin these to uh, so they dry out. It's a nice bright day, so um, it's got the maximum amount of drying time. The next video you're going to see is um, me swapping over to the action cam and um, putting them in, putting the clothing in the bucket, and then pinning it to the cold frame. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Alrighty then. All right then, so here's the bucket and dunk in the cotton t-shirt to begin with. Obviously this, some people will say that this isn't really a fair test because there's no way a t-shirt would get, or clothing would get this wet in real life. And yeah, it's true, it's true, but it's, um, kind of an ultimate test if you like really. That's 
Swan T-shirt. There's one. Jeans are next. Need to ring out as much as I can. And last but not least, the polycotton trousers. Good old dunk. Let's try that again. Right, okay, now I'm going to leave these now for a few hours to dry out as best they can. Obviously I'm going to speed the footage up and hopefully you'll be able to see these dry or not dry um, as the video goes on. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you with that, I'll be back in a few hours. Like I say, um, I'm going to speed the footage up and you uh, should get a better understanding of why certain materials are preferred over others.
Okay, so it's been just over three hours now, and uh, I've actually had to swap back to my phone to record this final bit because the battery on the action cam ran out, um, which, to be honest, isn't the surprise considering it's been three hours. Um, right, let's see how we've gotten on with this. Okay, first of all, white t shirt. It is still very wet, very, very wet. I don't think I can squeeze any water out of it, but it's still wet. Um, the, as you can imagine, the T-shirt that is designed to dry quickly, the synthetic T-shirt, that is more or less completely dry. There's a couple of damp spots on the shoulder where it was put on the, um, on the cold frame. So we can dry those out. Next up, well, you can see the difference in the colour, I think, between the two, um, between where it's wet and where it's dry. So damp there, wet there, damp there, but completely dry there. These are the polycotton trousers. These are the ones that are designed to be quick drying. And last but not least, even after three hours, you can still see, although this patch is dry, you can still see that the rest of the jeans are damp. Now, with that, they will obviously, they will obviously cause all sorts of problems um, if you leave them wet and damp. Um, they will cause chafing. They will pull out any, any body heat to try and obviously dry yourself off. Um, they're just they're not very good um, and they're not they're not designed for outdoor use really which is why they are never recommended so I hope that gives you an insight as to why we don't use jeans and why jeans are never recommended for outdoor wear um, I will be doing another um, experiment with uh, this lot with these clothes uh, at some point in the future um, so keep an eye out for that obviously I've got to make sure they're all dry first uh, but keep an eye out for that in the meantime thanks for watching I hope that's helped and uh, I will see you next time bye for now